And we begin in London, where this morning, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair is facing tough questions about why he backed the American-led invasion of Iraq. Blair is testifying before the British inquiry into the Iraq war. CBS News correspondent Richard Roth is in London for us this morning with more. Richard, good morning. Good morning, Erica. This is not a court and no one's on trial. But even so, this is widely being described here as Judgment Day for Tony Blair. Tony Blair! Among the demonstrators outside, the father of a British soldier killed in Iraq said the point of the inquiry is to teach a lesson to the country and its politicians. A British prime minister must never ever be allowed again to take us to war based on the falsehoods and deceit in such a shambolic and catastrophic way. Blair sidestepped the protesters, but he's accustomed to responding to their protests. And taking his seat for a Q&A session set to run six hours, like this is a stage set for him to Mr. defend Blair, his like legacy, to... back to what some say were the roots of the, the Iraq war in, in the attacks of 9-11. I never regarded September the 11th as an attack on America. I regarded it as an attack on us. And I'd said we would stand shoulder to shoulder with them. We did in Afghanistan, and I was determined to do that again. There are questions whether he secretly committed Britain to war in Iraq in a deal with former President Bush, Excellent. whether he pushed officials here to the sanction the war as legal, and whether he manipulated intelligence to support the claim that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction ready for use. You know, he had used them. He definitely had them. He was in breach of, I think, 10 United Nations resolutions on them. The inquiry isn't to assign blame for the war or to decide if there was criminal conduct pursuing it. But more than just political theater, this has big implications for Blair's beleaguered Labor Party facing elections just four months from now. Erica? Richard, thanks. And certainly getting attention far outside of London as well.